Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that if you're returning. How you doing? What we're going to talk about right now is what people are seeing and experiencing in everyday life when it comes to being of the prepared mind. And I get sent pictures, and videos, and emails. And if you would like to do so, my email is in the description box below. So this first email comes in from a community member. and She said, I wanted to tell you what happened to me today and warn the others. Today I went to Kroger after my appointment to grab a few things. While I was there, I got two gift cards for my brother for Christmas and a little box to put them in that looks like presents. I got checked out and told them to put $50 on each card. They were for Texas Roadhouse. As you know, I'm on disability and that's the best that I could do. That's a very thoughtful gift. I, I yeah, that's, that's a wonderful gift. She said, um, paid everything had a guy working there take checked out and oh sorry <laughs> I'm, i got mixed up and had a guy working there that take my groceries to the car okay now i stood back and i talked to the guy while he loaded my car so i'm sure it wasn't him i got home brought the groceries in noticed my gift cards were not in the bags i went and looked in my car again nope not there i called kroger they looked around not for long, said they didn't see them anywhere, gave me customer service number, I called them. And they said I had to call Texas Roadhouse, so I called them. They said they couldn't help because it's gift cards. I was so mad and upset, I couldn't think straight. Wound up crawling Kroger back and talked to corporate. I got a case number and called customer service again. She helped me at that time. They're sending me more gift cards and canceled the others which tickled me because I don't want somebody else eating for free on my dime. I don't blame you at all. It took hours to get it done, but thankfully they helped me. Be careful when you get gift cards this season. Make sure you have them in your possession. I didn't even think about it. I usually do, but I got ripped off. Thank you very much for this email. It's very um, important to know about these types of things, especially now while we're all out you know searching for that perfect gift and we end up just getting a gift card which is also more or less like the perfect gift because they then they can do what they want you know commercial break so here's an email from a community member she said i am perplexed some mass shooters don't remember the incident and are horrified at the carnage is this the Manchurian candidate and born identity scenarios playing out? Could very well be. It could very well be. I mean, sometimes these people who do these things, it's almost like they're in another state of mind. Um, some say that they black out and that they don't remember. Um, you know, it could, it could very well be any kind of scenario, really, any kind of situation. But then again, you don't know if they're lying and then they're able to claim insanity, you know? So it's, it's a very strange thing when things like this happen. So here's an email from a community member. She said, I saw that Jace Medical will provide backup uh, of a person's medications. If this is true, then it might be better for a person to order their regular meds through them, especially if there's shortages. Perhaps someone could look into this. I hate to think that folks needed a regular prescription or having to do without due to shortages. Plus, having antibiotics on hand could be a lifesaver if, um, is antibi if antibiotics are not available. And yes, it is true. Um, all you have to do is go to their website, okay? You fill out a simple online form and place your order. One of their board certified physicians will review it and discuss any questions with you. You get uh, Jace Daily 12 month supply and it'll be mailed to your home. So that's how that works out, okay? So here's an email from a community member and she left me a link and I'll leave the link in the description box below. Um, it's about a Florida family that was stunned after a man that was accused of poisoning them was sent back to China. My God. This entire Florida family was sick when the neighbor allegedly injected opioids underneath the, his, their apartment door and stunned, uh, turned, uh, learned, top, stunned them when they were learned that he was 
a Chinese national, and he was deported back to his homeland without facing any charges. My God, imagine that. Imagine that happening to you and yours, and the guy gets away with literally attempted murder. So here's an email from a community member. She said, this video of AJ, Alex Jones, on Tucker Carlson is so informative, it made me puke. Yes, I know. Um, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, she said, the plans for the human race is disturbing and disgusting. I saw it on YouTube. Uh, she doesn't have the link, but I do have the link, and the link will be in the description box below. Oh, my gosh, when I tell you, my husband, he watched it. And he sent me the link and he's just like, hey, you have to watch this. I have been so busy in this house. I don't have two seconds to pee by myself, let alone watch a video. <laughs> so uh, I do have the link. It'll be in the description box below. And he told me that some of the things that were being said are literally confirmed. And I'm thinking, if this stuff is confirmed... Why is this guy, the selected, literally still there if you catch my drift? Okay, so watch the video when you're done watching this video. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, literally talking about fair walking in the hallways of the... Um, Big White House up on that hill, you know what I'm talking about? You saw that big White House up on the hill, right? No, nothing. Just walking around as if, um, you know, he's showing everybody his religion. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. So here's an email from a community member. And they sent me some information that I was just like, is this a joke? Please tell me that this is not happening right now. Residents of a assisted living facility called Prosperity Point uh, are being told that they have one month to find other housing because they're closing the facility. Yeah, get out, pack your bags, bye. The executive director sent out a letter that the facility was sold by a group of locals who agreed to take over and the new owners then decided they will be closing it down January 6, 2024. What you going to do with an assistant living facility? And then you're just going to shut it down. And then what? And then what? So it was said that the executive director and the staff will assist residents, excuse me, and family to make this transition as seamless as possible. There's 48 people that are being displaced. 48. How is that going to be a seamless transition for 48 people who probably half of them don't even have family members? What are you going to do? Just kick them out on the street. Goodbye. See you later. Yeah. Here are two screenshots of the places that are taking residents in. Okay. So here's an email from a community member, and she said things, oh, oh sorry, not things, theirs. <laughs> I'm dumb. Um, there's settings deep in your phone and Google account to stop that nonsense. I don't have that issue due to having that restricted. My phone doesn't listen. Oh, I see what you're talking about because I was talking about how um, I said this the other day, how, you know, you'll be having a conversation with people and then all of a sudden ads will just start popping up for items that you were talking about during that conversation. She said, um, it's got ear, I've got, I've got its ears fixed. Oh, okay. I can't do this on my Android. Apple phones are another animal. Yeah, they are. I can't stand the Apple phones. Always hated them. Have to turn off several things in your Google account, web activity and stuff like this. There's a whole lot I've learned from YouTube videos. Um, I've learned tech stuff started when I had cable since they give you shitey equipment. Had enough of this and got rid of cable and TV in 2020. They don't 
want you to know how to do this. Knowledge is power. It's very lengthy. As of now, I don't feel like putting it all down. Yes, you can turn off the ears. It's allowed for now. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out how to do that because that is one of the most annoying things ever. It really truly is. So here's a picture that was sent in by a community member, and she said, it's one of my fur balls. Too cute of a fur ball. <laughs> So now I'm going to put in some videos that were deconstructed to be reconstructed. And the first one is about a food desert. And this food desert happens to be where I am from in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And what they are now doing in this food desert to help residents of Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I think it's brilliant. I really do. Um, what a food desert is, is like a city, town, or whatever that has no um, grocery stores at all whatsoever. And there's never uh, honestly been a grocery store in Atlantic City itself. Um, you'll have like mom and pops, you'll have the bodegas on the corners, but you won't see um, a, a grocery store. And it's sad because, you know, in Atlantic City, you've got a lot of people that live in, in Atlantic City, but it's not just Atlantic City. Um, because once you're in Atlantic City, okay, then the next town over is called Vetner. And then you've got Margate. And then you've got uh, Long, not Longport, sorry. Or is it Longport? And then you've got Ocean City. And, you know, even in those towns, there's not a lot of, well, from what I remember, there wasn't a lot of like grocery options at all uh like the closest like big name store if you remember bradley's okay so um and in order to get to like a grocery store you could only do it by bus like you know like regular bus um they have like these little tiny mini buses called jitneys in atlantic city but they don't go outside of the strip, the Atlantic City strip that, you know, like it's called Pacific Avenue. And that's all, they just go up and down Pacific Avenue because that's where all the, um, the uh, casinos are. So yeah, there, it's a food desert and it's really terrible. It really truly is. And I think this is a brilliant way of what they're doing. They're making a mobile grocery store. And what they did was they took like a bus and they transformed it into like a little mini grocery store that you can go in and you can get fresh fruits and veg. And there's actually like a refrigerated section and stuff like that. Hi. Hi, what are you doing, Luna Bug? And uh, so I think it's brilliant. I really do. And I think that they should have more of these, even if it's in an area that's not a food desert. Because there's just a lot of us that just... We don't go to the grocery store because we can't stand to go to a grocery store. You know what I mean? So, uh, all right, guys, I will put that up for you. And uh, you guys, no, 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 no. Um, so you guys stay safe. <laughs> Excuse me. Kittens galore. Uh, you, you stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fear less. Ciao. My first time here, I bought honey. I bought um, tea bags, I bought bananas, I bought oranges, and I bought grapes. This is my second time here today. I bought milk and bread. Well, I bought bread earlier, but I needed more. Which wasn't a problem for Dolores Butler Whaley since this mobile grocery store is within walking distance from her Atlantic City home. She says normally she'd have to travel pretty far to get the same things. If you walk, it's like maybe with my leg, it's like an hour, you know, and I just have someone with me. And if I catch the bus or catch a cab, that's $10 up and $10 back. Now, every Friday, Butler Whaley and her neighbors can come here and get their shopping done thanks to Virtual Health's Eat Well Food Access Program. The New Jersey Economic Development Authority teaming up with the healthcare system to bring its mobile grocery store to Atlantic City. This is exactly how it sounds. It's a small grocery store on wheels. 
If you get a chance to go inside, you see that you're greeted with fresh produce. You move on to some staple pantry items. You can get uh, your rice and your beans and pasta and things like that there. And we have fridge and freezer, so you get your proteins, meat, seafood. Um, seafood's a really uh, big seller for us. And then a dairy case. And then you go right to the back and check out. Many of the products are the same things you'll find at traditional stores, but at prices that are 30 to 50% less than the supermarket, making it more affordable for families. It's one of the main reasons April Shetler, Assistant Vice President of Community Health Engagement for Virtua Health, says the mobile grocery store is so important. Atlantic City is one of those cities where um, from the surface it might look like casinos and wonderful restaurants and shows, um, but when you really start to drive around and look, there's so many uh, wonderful communities here, vibrant communities, um, but they're really struggling to have those basic needs met. Um, and again, transportation is a huge barrier, um, as well as access to a, a full service grocery store here in the city that's affordable. Um, so, you know, when you, when you peel back some of the layers of the city, as wonderful as it is, we're really just trying to um, give our, the residents a hand up and just allow them to um, have it a little bit easier to access affordable food through the winter months. Atlantic City has been considered a food desert for years and remains without a supermarket. Plans were in the works to bring a shop right in the city with a groundbreaking ceremony taking place in 2021. But after the state's Casino Reinvestment Development Authority rejected several proposals to build a full-service supermarket in Atlantic City earlier this year, the supermarket chain pulled out. And it's devastating. Um, you know, we told the people that it was going to open and it didn't. You know, for what the reasons are, um, we are what we are. So we just got to find a solution, a permanent solution. This is a temporary fix and, you know, make it happen. But for now, residents like Butler Whaley say they're happy the mobile grocery store is around. Come on, it can't get, it can't get any better. You know what I'm saying? This is good. This is a good thing. I love it, and I just hope I see it like all over the city, not just here, you know, in different places in the city. The mobile grocery store will continue coming to Atlantic City for the next several months. Virtual Health is hoping to also make it available on Saturday soon. In case you haven't heard, Amazon was just hacked. Apparently, the hackers are going in and changing your address to a locker address so they can go in and claim your packages. Now, I just went and checked mine and I saw three different locker addresses. Two of them I was able to delete. One of them I was not. I'm still working on it. So you need to go to your Amazon account now, check your addresses, and make sure you have no locker addresses in there. And if you do, you need to delete those immediately.